Hello, I'm Teacher Robin. Welcome to another live streaming class. If this is your first time to join us, let me explain how the classes work. Today, our topic is English for Marketing. If you have a question during the class, you can write your question in the comments, and I'll answer it at the end of the class. And I also have a few questions for you to check the vocabulary that we've learned today, and you can write your answers in the comments section as well. Before we get started with today's topic, let's review what we learned in last week's class in case you missed it. We talked about how to pass the BULATS exam. So I gave you some study tips. Um, we look at the, the format of the BULATS exam, and then we went section by section, the reading section, writing, speaking, and listening. And I gave you some study tips for how to be as successful as possible on the BULATS exam. So if you missed that class and you want to watch it, go to the video section of our Facebook page and there you can find all of our previous classes so you can watch them again as many times as you want. You can share them on your own Facebook page or you can leave a comment and we'll get back to you as well. So today we have a very special guest joining us for uh, this topic, an expert actually from ABBA, uh, someone who works here at ABBA. So Gwen, can you Come join me here. This is Gwen from our marketing department. Welcome, Gwen. Hello, everybody. Thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us. And uh, Gwen is going to help us learn some uh, very important marketing vocabulary today. You may not work in marketing yourself, but these are some words that are really important to know in general. Um, Gwen, can you tell me where are you from and um, how did you learn English? What is your experience learning English? Sure, uh, I come from France. I'm mm -hmm. French and I studied languages during my, my degree. Mm -hmm. So that's And how did you live in a foreign country? Or? I also studied, uh, yes, during a semester in Mississippi. In the, United, in the States. United States. Okay, very good. Great. And do you find that you use English in the office here at ABBA every day? Sure, at ABBA every day, in the meetings, uh, for writing emails, we use English very often. So you find that it's really important for you in the workplace? For sure. Good, okay, great. So let's start with our marketing vocabulary. We're going to start with uh, the first vocabulary word is email marketing, which is actually what Gwen does. She works in marketing, but specifically in email marketing. So could you explain what exactly that is? Well, in email marketing, what we do is we are promoting, uh, in our case, the course, the English mm -hmm. course, and we are trying to develop a closer relationship with the students. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So you use emails to promote your product, and that gives you a better relationship with your students. Great. Okay, now let's look at another important vocabulary word for marketing. This is brand. So a brand is what makes a company unique, what makes you remember a company, what you associate with that company. So this could be anything like a logo, a slogan, a design, anything that brings value to your company. So you can probably think of some examples of brands that come to mind um, that are really valuable for you in your life. Okay, demographic. What is this, Gwen? Uh, that's something actually we use to uh, segment, to, mm -hmm. it's to say, uh, creating groups of people. Mm -hmm. uh, so we use the age, for example, the education, uh, mm -hmm. to create a group of people and to offer, uh, um, to adapt the communication to each segment. Okay, great, perfect. Okay, your target audience. This is very similar. This is actually the group of people who might buy your products. So in our case at ABBA English, this is people who are interested in learning English. So this is our target audience. And then we divide that target audience into different demographics, right? This is who we are selling to. Okay, keywords. This is really important, especially nowadays online. So what is a keyword and how do we use keywords in marketing? A keyword is a word uh, you will use at home when you look on Google for a product you're interested in, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So this, uh, this helps your target audience actually discover your brand. So for example, if someone is looking to learn English, they might type something like online academy or learn English online. And hopefully ABBA English would be one of the first websites that would come up in, in that search. So that's how uh, using keywords can help. And this kind of leads into um, SEO or search engine optimization, which is another um, kind of department of marketing, which is using these specific keywords 
on your website. So making sure that on your blog or your website you mention those different keywords so that they come up. You can also simplify your URLs, so the name of the website. You can use headings and subheadings with these keywords and making your uh, the language understandable so that if someone goes to your website they understand what they're reading. It's very accessible, right? Okay, analytics. How do we use analytics in marketing? We use analytics to optimize the campaigns. It could be a social campaign or a campaign on, on Google. can be several types of campaigns, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay, so exactly. You can look at different things like uh, with Facebook, how many people are on your Facebook page, how many people are watching the live streaming. So we can look, uh, once our live streaming is finished, at the different data. So who is watching us today? Where are they from? The age range, all kinds of different information that we can take from uh, from our live streamings, from Facebook in general, et cetera. So it's something that's a that's a very useful tool. Okay, social media. Uh, many companies use social media nowadays. So what kind of different um, social media channels are available? Uh, the most popular would be Facebook, mm -hmm. Instagram, Twitter, uh, Snapchat could mm -hmm. be also. Okay, and from these social media networks, as I said before, you can um, you can get analytics that you can use to um, to alter your promotions or your emails um, to a select audience. Okay, forecasting. How can forecasting help you in marketing? Actually, it's uh, again about optimizing campaigns. Mm -hmm. So we are using the the data. We are analyzing the data, the previous data from the past, mm -hmm. to forecast and. Uh, get uh, the campaigns better for the future. Okay, to predict what you think is going to happen and hopefully your, your forecasting is very close or as exact as it can be. Okay, engagement. This is something that's very important, especially for us. We want to know that our students are engaged, which means that they're actually involved. It means that you do something, you interact with, uh, with our website, with our social media channels. So this could be uh, during this class, if you like it, if you write a comment, um, if you share it on your on your own Facebook page, this means that you are engaged. So this is what uh, what makes up the different components of engagement: how people interact with your online content. Okay, a call to action. What is a call to action, and how do you use it? Uh, a call to action uh, will be, uh, for example, a button mm -hmm. uh, that is calling you to make an action. Mm -hmm. To do something like what? What kind of actions might that like, be? Like uh, going to a website, mm -hmm. for example. Okay, so you might read something like sign up now or start learning now, for example, um, if you visit our website and this will take you to a landing page or somewhere where you can register for the course. Okay, so this is important as well. Okay, so we've just given you an overview of some of the most important vocabulary in marketing. Obviously, this is not um, everything, but we just wanted to focus on some of the most important words uh, that we think you need to know. So um, I'm going to ask you now three questions to practice what you've learned today, and you can write your answers in the comments. Okay, so Gwen, can you ask them the first question? So the first question is, uh, do you use social media at your job? Okay, um, yeah, so how do you use social media, and, um, and what kind of social media do you use? Okay, the second question is, what is your company's target audience? So if you work for a company, what kind of uh, market do you, uh, what kind of people do you market to? So what is your target audience? And the last question? And the last question would be, uh, what's a brand you identify with? Mm -hmm. So there are many, many, many brands, obviously, today, but what's one that you, uh, that you normally buy? or that you uh, have a positive association with, for example. Okay, so tell me that in the comments. Okay, as you are writing your answers, let me tell you a little bit more about our course here at ABBA. We have a complete course from beginners to business level featuring 144 units. Each unit has a short film and then a video class explaining the grammar and exercises to help you practice your English. So, if you sign up with our um, on our website, you can study from all of your devices, so it's really flexible. You can study from your smartphone, your tablet, your PC or Mac, and your progress is saved. So it's, uh, it's a great way to study anywhere and anytime. 
and um, if you sign up as a free student, you'll have access to all of the video classes as, f as well as the first uh, unit of each level. And then if you decide to go premium, you'll have access to all of the course content and you'll be assigned a teacher like me who you can write to anytime you have a question. So in addition, we have some other social media um, resources for you to use. Can you tell them a little bit about our social media at ABBA? So you can find us on Facebook, on mm -hmm. Twitter, and on YouTube. Mm -hmm. and we also have a blog which has uh, hundreds of articles about grammar, about um, English culture, English for business, for travel, so all kinds of good information on all of these resources. So check them out if you haven't already. Okay, so now we're going to see who's joining us and what questions you have. Um, if uh, I encourage you to keep writing, and um, if there are no questions for the time being, I know sometimes it's hard to think of an answer right away, then I um, please write them in the comments and I'll get back to you later today. So as you're doing that, let me uh, tell you about next week's class. So next week, uh, Teacher Dell is going to tell you about phonetics, specifically silent letters and tricky consonants. You're going to work on some pronunciation, some words that are difficult to pronounce. And um, you can find the date and time of that class on our calendar, which is posted on our Facebook page. And you can also uh, change your Facebook settings to, um, to receive a, a message anytime we're live streaming. Okay, so plenty of ways to remind yourself about the class. So I want to thank everyone who has joined us today, and I really want to thank Gwen. Uh, you've been really helpful. It's always nice to um, have someone who works here at ABBA join us, so thank you. Thank you. Okay, so uh, hopefully you can join us next time, and uh, take care. I hope this class has been useful for you, and we'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Bye.